I work with professional athletes, people in the entertainment industry, whether it's the performing arts or film, and I develop for them, in fact, publish for them, my six pillars of success and achieving ultimate performance. And these folks live by this stuff. It's something that is a part of who they are that make them at their ultimate and peak performance. And that's great. They should have those things because ultimately their bodies are what is their livelihood. I want you to have the same thing. There's no reason in my mind why I shouldn't treat you like I do my professional athletes and folks in the film and Broadway arenas. You should get the best too. So let's break it down, six with this list. And they're not in order of importance. It's a list that is basically there for the purpose of discussion. Number one, I want you to make sure that you have adequate hydration. And what I want you to choose is water. Water more than any other fluid. I don't want you taking in sodas or juices or uh, those power drinks, those energy drinks, because they have a host of problems. Water's what your body is thirsty for. Give it what you need. How do you know what you need? Well, gee, you know, it depends on what you're doing the, with uh, that particular day. If you're working out, if you're really burning a lot of calories and your body's trying to cool itself, you're going to need more water than you would if you're just sitting down at the desk. So the one, two ways to do that. Uh, Dr. Oz recommends that you take in enough water to make your urine clear. If you're starting to get a little funky smell and you're starting to get that yellow color, you're dehydrated. It's time to up that level. Nutritionists typically say somewhere between a half ounce to a full ounce per pound of body weight. So if you weigh 100 pounds, that's 100 ounces. That's one method. One of those will work for you. Uh, number two is I want you to consider what these guys are putting in their bodies. They know that when they eat something, it becomes a part of who they are and it will absolutely affect how they feel and how they perform. So for you, uh, I put together a separate nutritional video because this is a huge subject, but it's for the purpose of this video. I want you to understand this. Guys, stay away from processed foods. Stay away from refined sugars, refined flours. They, they're just problematic. They got no nutritional value to them. Everything you eat should be nutrient dense. It should be a whole food. As much as you can, do organic. With your proteins, try to do the organic and the free range. You want to have quality foods going in your body. Eat when you're hungry. That may be up to six or seven times a day. And if you're hungry at eight o'clock at night, well, you probably didn't eat enough. You need a little bit more. Take your time. Chew your food slow. And don't stuff yourself. It's good to leave the table just a little bit hungry, not fully satiated, because we typically overfeed ourselves as Americans. The third thing that these people do is when they work out, they use the best equipment. And I don't necessarily mean this massive gym, because you don't necessarily need that complexity. But when you do work out, wear the best of performance athletic wear. Wear something that is breathable. It has good thermodynamics. What that means is when it's cold outside, it keeps you warm, but allows moisture to be wicked. When it's super hot, it has a cooling aspect to it to prevent you from overheating. It doesn't bind and restrict you from moving. And choose the best athletic shoe for your particular sex for your particular activity that you're doing. I got a full video on this on my website too. The next item that I want you to consider is making sure for the love of all this good, get enough rest. Seven to eight hours is the minimum. Get enough rest so that your body can recover and psychologically you're at your peak and there's this wonderful thing called REM sleep that happens in these longer hours of rest. Now I've got another video on making the right environment for sleep, um, but also including their active rest days, days when you're not exercising, you're doing something that is still chill. You're going for a nice walk, a nice easy swim, a little bit of Tai Chi, something that's not you know, just super heavy duty like you would do in a more aggressive training program. So moving on to the next one, I want you to consider uh, that you do a program of fitness that uh, follows along with what we do with athletes, and that is periodization. Uh, it's essentially training them according to where they are in their season. You train differently when you're in season and playing your particular sport than you do postseason and preseason. And what does that mean for you? Practically, it simply means vary your program. 
do some resistance training, do some cardiovascular training, that's all good, but mix it up some, cross train so that you don't run into uh, adaptability where the muscles become uh, adapted to the forces on them and they no longer are responding like they were when you started. Making sure that you're not overusing particular movements and causing jo joint wear and tear. Plus you wanna keep it interesting, make it fun. Be creative. The other thing that I want you to do is I want you to have this great body of friends. I always tell my wife, sometimes it drives her crazy. I have my friends right here. It's a small group, people that have good souls, people that I trust with my life, people who I stay in contact with frequently. They're smarter than I am and they, they have this wonderful faith and spirituality that keeps me grounded. It keeps me focused, man. I'm on the right path. And it's just good for the soul just to chill, laugh, and share. Uh, I recommend praying, meditation, taking time where you can just sit down and look at your creator, look at yourself, evaluate where you are, and take some time away from all the noise in your world. That's what these guys do. And they have professionals that help them in each realm. I've got information that can do the same thing for you. And with these six pillars, you can be at your best performance. So what are they? Let's review one more time, real quick. Here we go, stick with me. Hydration, adequate hydration, the best of nutrition, the best of fitness equipment with their clothes, with their shoes. They're getting adequate rest. They're making sure that they have time for rest and time for meditation, time for prayer. And they make sure that their nutrition is the best for them because they understand you are indeed what you eat. Peace. Namaste. Use this stuff. I think you'll love it. I'll talk to you soon.